Hello everyone, I am warming up for the creepies, so welcome to the evilest horror game ever. I'm hoping I got the title right, I was kind of hoping the title name would pop up, but it didn't. All I got is a play and quit button. I kind of feel like this might be a trick, but I'm going to roll with it, see what happens. So let the madness begin. The story-based game features player choices. The consequences of all your game, in-game actions and decisions will impact the future. Choose wisely. Based on a true story. Okay. RG Crew presents. Okay. There's more to this. I was worried it was going to be like this other game that I downloaded like a few years back. They had like screenshots and stuff. I even forgot the title, and then I uh, went to check it out. I right when I started, like I hit the play button, all I got was this loud image jump scare, and that was it. That was the game. I was like, "Wow, that was a waste of time." <laughs> like, thanks a lot. Thanks for nothing. So what the hell's going on here? Cause that that don't look good. Maybe it's nothing to worry about. Right? That another dead dude? Doesn't look dead, he does look awfully confused. So, when's the game gonna start? Some big things happen. I had it right. How do you like that? Nice. Huh. So everything started several years ago. It was the 1st of March 2010. A man went into a hotel and asked to see me, the boss. When I came, the most terrifying story began. Ow. Is room 39 empty? Oh, I have to press E? Yes? Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing Can here. Can I book it? Sure. Of course you can. Thank you. Okay. Before going to the room, the client asked me to provide him with a black knife, a 39 centimeter white thread, and a 73 gram orange. I agreed, though I was surprised at the weird things the client asked to have. The client went into his room. He didn't ask for food or anything else. Unfortunately for me, my room was next to room 39. I don't even know where the room is. This is so different. Not what I expected. That's room 28. Okay. I need to get to uh, room 39. Right? God, I probably don't know. <laughs> oh man, the walking is weird. Kind of reminds me of Resident Evil. I wonder if that's what they were trying to go for. Oh, it's weird. I can't get him to walk right, I'm sorry. I'm trying. There you go. What room is this? 36? 37? Maybe it's this room. It's locked, okay. I think it was over here. I didn't mean to turn to that one, but okay. Okay, that was the one. Sweet. So what do I do here? Oh, there's a key. This looks nice, though. 
What's over here? What is After happening? After <laughs> midnight, I heard strange voices and noise in that client's room. Voices of wild animals and utensils and dishes being thrown on the floor. Uh oh. I didn't sleep that night. I kept thinking and wondering what might be the source of the noise. So we have to go find out, right? <laughs> I'm a little worried now. It reminds me, if you guys want to check this strange game out for yourselves, link will be in the description. And that's about it. Okay, I'm going in. Let's, uh, wait, what happened? I had the option to do something with this, and it's not letting me anymore. What happened? There we go. It's locked. Oh, this is room 39. I guess that was room 38. Oh. Okay, I need to put some code. Okay. But I don't have one. So I'm just gonna go to nowhere. <laughs> I didn't think that was a dead end. Where's that noise coming from? That is next door, isn't it? See if anyone answers. No one's answering. Okay, no one. See, I really don't know if I need to be worried about that sound. And it is awfully dark. I don't know if I like that. But hey, at least we're getting further away from the sound. But what do I do? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? There's like no button that shows like my objective. I just gotta roam around. Maybe that's why it's evil. Okay, that's locked too. I feel so freaking clueless. And this room is, is like really weird. Ah, ah. Game, why are you so strange? Oh, stop it. Don't let me get to this damn door. What do I do? And I don't like this ankle. <laughs> I should knock again. No one's answering. Okay. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> In the morning when the client handed me the keys, I asked to see the room first. Wait, he handed the keys? For real? So now I'll be able to go in there? Do I want to do that? I don't- I don't think I want to. I don't like this place. I don't like anything about this right now. <laughs> this feels so weird. I don't like that sound either. Okay, I'm getting close. Let's freaking do this. Find out what's... I could just open it. Oh boy, here goes nothing. I went to that room and found everything alright. Nothing unusual. I even found the thread, the black knife, and the orange on the table. Huh, and I can't do anything with it. There's a note that looks like... Final note says, what what has four letters, sometimes nine letters, but never has five letters. Huh? What has four letters? Sometimes nine letters, but never has five letters. Huh. I wouldn't know. It's 
Do I have to figure that out? I can't do anything else here. I mean, is that a clue for me to punch in some numbers? I don't know. I don't get the this game. The client paid the bill and gave the bellboys a very good tip and left the hotel smiling. I was in a shock, but I didn't reveal what I had to the bellboys. In fact, I started to doubt myself. One year later? Huh. After one year, the client showed up again, asked to see me again. I was in a puzzle. Is room 39 empty? I should say no. No, sir. Are you sure? Yep. Yes, sir. <laughs> I refuse I to give him stuff. Oh crap. I don't know what no, to say. No, I'm not. What? That was it? Oh, I don't know how to feel about this. I don't get what was. I I don't I don't get it. The secret has not been revealed. Got it. I have to keep on going. I don't be like sure the the room is available and then keep seeing all the creepies. Damn. I should have said yes, but then I was like, what if I said no? What, what, would, what would happen? But it's like, if I stopped it, well then, nothing else keeps happening. That guy would walk away and that's it. That's how he solved the problem. Woo! <laughs> but, yeah. I done goofed there. I guess I'll give it another shot next time. But for now, I'm gonna stop. And, yeah. I'll save it for later, so. Thanks for sticking around. And again, if you guys want to check this game out for yourselves, I'll be putting a link in the description. So, yeah. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.